Welcome to a brand new episode of The Drop, the show that keeps you in the know on the hottest games hitting the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, the Switch, the PC, whatever they might be coming out on, we will talk about them right here. This week, a very big week with Resident Evil 3 coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC, along with Resident Evil Resistance, the asymmetrical multiplayer spinoff. Then we have Persona 5 Royal and so much more to dive into on today's show. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. To kick off today's show, Resident Evil 3 is coming out on the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Witness the climactic events of Raccoon City in a completely reimagined Resident Evil 3. This highly demanded follow-up in the 94 million unit selling franchise comes on the heels of the award-winning Resident Evil 2 and completes the Raccoon City story arc. In Resident Evil 3, stars member Jill Valentine, one of video games' most iconic heroines, flees a city being consumed by zombies and other horrifying creatures. Built with Capcom's proprietary RE engine, Resident Evil 3 uses modernized gameplay to combine action with classic survival horror in vivid high definition. Jill's harrowing experiences in Resident Evil 3 take place in the nightmarish hours leading up to and following the events in Resident Evil 2, shedding new light on the plight of Raccoon City's residents. Every hope of escape is cut off by another star in the Resident Evil franchise, the towering bioorganic weapon Nemesis. This brutal yet intelligent monstrosity uses an arsenal of high-powered weaponry to indiscriminately eliminate any surviving star's members in the city, with Jill being his final target. So for those that don't know, this week's Resident Evil 3 is actually a remake of a 1999 game that came out on the PlayStation 1, then coming to GameCube in 2003 after an exclusivity deal was concluded. So with all that being said, the game is different in a lot of ways. Pretty much it's been redesigned from the ground up, except for the plot itself and the characters. You still have that same foundation that made the original so popular with the storytelling, but you have a completely modernized gameplay experience that really does complement both sides of the coin well. And I will say, Resident Evil 2 was one of the best games of 2019, and I'm expecting this to pretty much follow suit. There is a demo out now if you do want to give it a shot. I know that I dove in and it gives you roughly the first 30 minutes or so of the game. Uh, you get to see what's going on in Raccoon City. You kind of get thrown into the chaos and then you meet Nemesis, a very cool demo that is definitely worth checking out before you pick up the game. So if you want to pick up Resident Evil 3 this week, it's coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Next up, we have Resident Evil Resistance, which is actually bundled in with Resident Evil 3. So if you buy RE3, you actually get Resistance included for free. A new asymmetrical multiplayer survival horror experience set in Raccoon City. Capcom's Resident Evil Resistance is a new one versus four asymmetric online survival horror experience set in the world of Resident Evil as part of the Resident Evil 3 package. Unleash your inner evil as a cunning mastermind or join the fight as one of the resourceful survivors desperately trying to escape every obstacle the mastermind puts in their way. This is similar in vain to Dead by Daylight, Friday the 13th, or Evolve in that you have one person that's the bad guy and four other people that are trying to defeat the bad guy. Whoever comes out on top is considered the victor. Now the gameplay for each side of that coin is vastly different. For the four that are on the good side, uh, it's pretty much the standard Resident Evil kind of combat that you would expect from the modern Resident Evil games. However, whenever you're talking about the mastermind, he is controlling traps and various utilities through these security cameras that are watching the other four players as they progress through the level. So it's a bit different in that regard. But with that being said, I will say it is bundled in for free with Resident Evil 3 and plenty of people will be buying that anyway, so it might be worth diving in and giving a shot. Next up, we have Persona 5 Royal coming out on the PlayStation 4. Prepare for an all-new RPG experience in Persona 5 Royal based in the universe of the award-winning series Persona. Don the mask of Joker and join the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Break free from the chains of modern society and stage grand heists to infiltrate the minds of the corrupt and make them change their ways. Persona 5 Royal is packed with new characters, story depth, new locations, and more, and a new grappling hook mechanic for access to new areas. With a new semester at Shujin Academy, get ready to strengthen your abilities in the metaverse and in your daily life. Persona 5 Royal presents a unique visual style and award-nominated composer Shoji Meguro returns with an all-new soundtrack. Explore Tokyo, unlock new personas, customize your own personal thieves' den, discover a never-before-seen story arc, cutscenes, alternate endings, and more. Look at that! It's more Persona! I, that, that's all I got. It's, it's, it's more Persona. Next up, we have The Complex coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, the Switch, and the PC. 
From the publishing studio behind Late Shift comes a new cinematic interactive sci-fi thriller FMV for PC and Mac. After a major bioweapon attack on London, two scientists find themselves in a lockdown laboratory with time and air running out. With choose-your-own-path style gameplay, your actions and your relationship with other characters will lead you to one of eight suspenseful endings. Having treated the victims of a chemical attack in the totalitarian state of Kendar, Dr. Amy Tennant is a leader in the advancement of nanocell technology. Now in London, news breaks of a blood-vomiting civilian whose identity is far from confidential. Reunited with an old friend, Amy is trapped inside an impenetrable HQ of laboratories, a womb of scientific advancement with a perilous secret. The complex is written by Lynn Renee Maxi, part of the Emmy Award-winning writing team from The Handmaid's Tale. The interactive movie stars Michelle Milet from Letterkenny and Bad Blood, Kate Dickey, Game of Thrones and the Witch, and Al Weaver, Grandchester. Featuring guest acting performance by Twitch streamer and former Xbox UK presenter Leviathan. Every time I see that name, I want to say Leviathan, but it's not. Now, one thing that's worth mentioning, this is essentially a full motion video story, meaning that it's not real gameplay, more so as you interacting with a story that's being told on screen. So in the same way that Netflix released Bandersnatch, similar to her story in 2015, or even the classic Night Trap, you aren't really going to be playing more so as following along with the story and making your own choices, which do play a very significant role in the game. There is relationship tracking, which tracks how you interact with characters throughout your gameplay experience, and it shapes your experience based on those interactions. People might love you, people might hate you, but the choices you make define that route. On top of that, there is personality tracking, which of course, as they say, uh, for every decision you make, every interaction, your character's personality is being tracked, and at the end of each playthrough, you are rewarded with a personality score and a breakdown to see how you play the game. So ultimately, that's the main gameplay mechanic. You see how you interact within the world of the complex. But if you want to dive in this week, it's coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, the Switch, and the PC. And before we conclude today's show, we have a couple of honorable mentions. First off, Fort Triumph is coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the Switch. The Zombie Army Trilogy is hitting the Nintendo Switch. Yakuza Kiwami 1 and 2 are coming out on the Xbox One and the PC. And Ty the Tasmanian Tiger is coming out on the Nintendo Switch after getting a remaster on PC. But that rounds out this week's episode of The Drop. If you enjoyed this show, be sure to drop me a like down below and let me know what games you are going to be picking up this week. We're all in the middle of a quarantine, might as well pick up some new games, am I right? Maybe, uh, but regardless, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the week. I'll talk to you soon, and peace.